So this is the first thing on my list of uh, favorite alcohol ink accessories. This is a nail polish stand. And I use this for all my Ranger and Pinata inks. It will fit many other brands too. Not Copic though. Um, they need their own kind of container, but I love how you can just see all your colors. It is so easy and I sort of try to color coordinate mine. Um, now, if you're like me and you have a lot of ink, you're going to need more than one, but I just love this. This is um, acrylic and it is sort of, it's very sturdy and very easy to like move around. Um, I saw someone who, who bought a really, really, really cheap one and when she tried to put the screws in here, it actually, it actually broke. So this one is also cheap, but it did not break when I put it together. You just put on these little screws on each side and, um, it took me like, I don't know, three, four minutes to put this together and I just love it. It's it's easy if you need like more space on your table and you need to move it, you just pick it up and move it. It's very light and um, and I love it. One of my favorite things, absolutely. I'm going to leave a little link for you um, for where you can find this on Amazon. It's not very expensive and you can get sort of, you can decide how many layers you want. I got four on this one. I think you can get like seven or eight if you want to. Gets a lot bigger, of course. Um, I like four, and then I just have more than one. Um, but click on that little box below this video, and you will find a link for this um, on Amazon. So this was number one on my list. Number two on my list, this is a Tim Holtz air blower, I think it's called. I'm not actually sure right now. I think it's an air blower. And I love this. This is such a fun alternative to the hair dryer or, or your airbrush. And I think this is, I think more people should use this. It just gives you such a completely different look. And I think maybe a lot of newbies don't really, haven't really thought about using one of these, but it is so much fun. I'm going to show you um, this piece I did with the air blower. I'm just going to see if I can capture that brass. You can get so many cool shapes um, and also make very, very wispy stuff with this stuff that you don't, you don't really get the same result um, with like your hair dryer. So I really feel like this is, this is such a fun tool to use instead of just always using um, your hair dryer. So um, I, I spent like a year or something without actually using this. I sort of forgot that I had it. And when I pulled it back out of the drawer and I started using it, um, I just fell in love with this all over again. Um, so number two on my list, also a link for you below the video. So this is uh, number three on my list. This is um, a paper cutter. Is that what it's called? I'm not actually sure right now. Um, I love this and um, I use this for when I do smaller pieces and I need my paper for the right size. I use this when I make cards. Um, it has all these different measurements, sizes on it. You got inches, you got centimeters, millimeters, um, A4, A5, whatever you want. And it is, uh, it's perfect. It's so much better than using your scissors because you can never really cut a straight line. And it's just, it's so easy. Um, it has this blade in here that just cuts your paper very easy and just clean cut. It is, it's amazing for when you need to make, make cut out your paper. Um, I once tried one like this where you have this little thing you sort of move back and forth to cut the paper. That one was okay. Um, and it, it was cheaper. It was very cheap, actually. I like this one a little bit better because I think the blade in this is just, it's a little sharper and um, also a little bit more expensive. But I, I want to sort of, um, when I show you things, I, I want to show you, 
you know, that you don't always have to buy the most expensive things. So there are sort of several alternatives with these paper cutter things. This is, uh, if we're talking dollars, I think $25 maybe. Um, the one where you have to move that cutter thingy is, is a little cheaper. Um, I prefer this one, but the other one also works. Um, I spent some time on Amazon trying to find some links for you guys. I'm going to leave two of them uh, for you. This is is not the exact same as this one, the link that I found for you, but it's it's basically the same. And then I found one with the little cutter thingy. So um, I think sometimes things you buy for, for alcohol inks, um, sometimes the more expensive stuff is better, but sometimes things don't have to be... You don't have to ruin your budget. Um, you can find cheaper stuff that is really good. So two links for you on um, paper cutters below. The fourth one on my list is uh, this one. This is my Remington Volume and Curl hair dryer. And I have so many people asking me about this. And I love this. This is amazing. It has um, two different settings volume it has the cool air up here it comes with these little brush attachments that you obviously don't need you just take those off um, but I love this this is very light it weighs nothing and it's sort of it's very easy to handle um, when you're when you're doing your inks and because so many people have asked me where where do you buy this and how can I get it and um, I bought this in a Danish store and I went online wanted to find this for you guys and I actually had a lot of trouble finding it um, so but I do have an alternative for you because I've seen several artists here on YouTube who do amazing tutorials um, who use a Revlon that looks I think exactly like this and I think it is basically the same and they say really nice things about it so um, I couldn't find this for you, but I did find the Revlon that is, I think it's basically the same. So a little link for you on that one too, but um, this is just really good. I love it. You can use a cheap hair dryer, just a hair dryer that you have lying around, but if you want to get a little, you want to feel a little fancy, this is just really good. So Remington is the one that I use. Revlon has a very similar one um, if you should want to try it out. So, number five on my list are these little guys. The, they are called uh, fine line applicators. And I use these for my alcohol and also for my metallics. And this is probably the thing that most people ask me about. Um, and they are really, really good. They come in two different sizes with this needle tip, um, yellow and blue. Uh, either one works really, really well. I like these because um, this tiny little needle tip, it makes it very easy for you to control how much you get out on the paper, especially with the metallics. Um, I first bought these in Denmark and they were quite expensive, but they were really, really good. Um, I found them on Amazon uh, much cheaper and you can get them in a pack of three, either the blue or the yellow. And there are many different um, containers you can use for your alcohol, um, but I prefer these um, first and foremost because this cap screws on really tight and they never leak. Um, some other containers that I have tried, they sort of leak and it's, it's all very, very messy. So my absolute favorite um, containers for uh, metallics and alcohol. So that was it for my little uh, five favorite things here. I have more than five favorite alcohol ink accessories, so I might do another video with some more stuff, but that was sort of it for this one. Now, I've sort of been thinking about doing um, a little video about some of these guys. These are some of my uh, markers and pens that I use with my inks. Um, so anyone wanna see sort of a review and maybe another top five of these, um, let me know, and I will get right on that. So that was my five favorite accessories. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this little video. 
Now I have left um, some links for you in the description box below the video where you can find some of these things or similar things to the ones that I've shown you here. Um, if you have questions or anything, leave a comment and I will do my best to answer. And of course, you're welcome to like and subscribe. That would make me very happy. Um, and I will hopefully see you again real soon.